everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and welcome to Freshwater Friday. Today we're going to be making some stuff to help my plants float without my koi's eating them. I'm going to be in my sewing room trying to create some floating baskets. Let me show you the different materials that I'm going to use to make these. Okay, let's see what we can make out of this. Pool noodle. Got that idea from one fish, two fish. This is just a craft foam ring and a little tiny hula hoop. My idea is to make some floating baskets for my pond plants where the koi can't get them. So not only will they be sitting in here and the roots will be safe, the roots will still be able to do filtration, but I'll be able to weight them down so that they don't go into the skimmer. Let's see if I can accomplish this with these. And this black stuff here is the material that I put down in my garden to keep water can go through it but weeds can't get out. So we'll see if that works. So now you can absolutely use zip ties but since I have a sewing machine I'm just going to sew this around. Sew it all around so that I can put my water hyacinths in there so they're not floating all the way and then I'll be able to weight this down to the ground. Well, I don't think this is marketable, but I covered the hula hoop and I made a little pocket for some rocks. So I'm going to put some rocks in there that'll weight it down just enough so that I don't have to look at hula hoop anymore. Okay, so for this one, I just cut it just long enough to sew it around here and have a little bit hanging down so I can start potting some, some plants in here. Not sure what I'm gonna do with the bottom, maybe just sew it together, or maybe put it around on the bottom. Let's see. Sewn this around it. Now I just gotta zip up the bottom. Let's see. Took a pool noodle, cut it in four sections, split it up the middle. Got a planter basket. And voila. I got some zip ties because we love zip ties. Probably wrap some cloth around it so you don't see the blue. And then we'll have a floating basket. No sewing involved. So this one I just took the pool noodle. This is the one that I took the pool noodle. Now next time I'm going to do this with dark stuff like so it's you don't see bright blue. So my workaround here is to do some zip ties. What kind of project doesn't have zip ties? Right Liz? Ta so and I'm going to put this on all four sides. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit some subscribe. So I'm facing the zip ties down so I don't even have to cut them. So I'm putting in my last zip tie. Now it's still got some blue in it, but we're going to see how that floats. Now that I made three or four things to float some plants in, I'm going to see how well it works and how well they float. The first and easiest one was I made this to hide the orangeness of the hula hoop. And this is basically just to keep the water hyacinth from going in the skimmer. So I made a little pocket, so I'm going to weight it down with rock. Let's we'll see how it works. In here in this little pocket, I got some rocks to weight this down. Down part a little bit too long. I found it in that deep. Let's see there. So I'll take these variegated the ones that keep getting caught in my skimmer. So I'd have to say that that is a success. So that's what it looks like now. And this is what it looked like before. Let's look at some of the other ones that I made. Okay, now this pot is a little 
needs to be potted up as well. So I'm going to put this in a new pot. Let me show you. And hope that it floats. So I'm going to put this in this one that I need. Now this one is called Giant Pennywort. You can see it's pretty root bound. So I'm going to add some media to this. Basically like pot it up. See how this works. And we're going to put this one over here. I see a lot of mosquito fish. You got to get this soaking first. There we go. So that that will float a little bit if I wanted it to, but right now I didn't tie on the. Uh, fishing line. And you can see that water hyacinth is starting to break free. It's going to head right for the skimmer if we don't put it and contain it. So I'm going to contain those green foam things. I'll show you. Okay, we're going to tie these three together so that they're kind of floating separately, but they still won't all go to the skimmer. And then we'll weight one of them down. I didn't really have anything to anchor it, so I'm anchoring it to zip ties. Okay, so now, as you can see, I have them all strung together and attached to that. I'm not going to cover these because they're kind of a lime, uh, kind of a light green anyway. And this plant is dwarf bluebells. I got it because my daughter's name is Katie, and the name of the plant is Katie. Watching Susie Q rearrange her flowers like always. Palms are constantly changing with this woman. Play. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm moving the lily out of the way. These are three, they're all connected together. I think all the plants are going to grow over the rim. So you're not going to be just pleased with the appearance. I hope so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be nice. You want to see my favorite part of the pod? This is it. I think you can see this. Yeah. I'm going to anchor this plant to it so it can float, but not float towards that. So it's almost like like party boats. Everything will be tied together. Going in the skimmer. This is our feeding dish, so we can put floating food in. I just don't want that floating food anywhere near that lily because we're already trying to chomp it down on it. Okay, so this one I was going to pot up, but I don't have newspaper right now to line that with. And this one is a green lily, my pond soil, and, and then we'll anchor one of them. I think I need a bigger pond. <laughs> I think I need a bigger pond for all my plants. Next year. 
keep following Q Aquatics and watch her grow a whole new pond. So of course the air conditioning just kicked on, but here is Queen wrapping a hula hoop so it doesn't stay bright orange. I'm gonna give her a hand. Okay, so it's not a professional grade, but we have one mesh floating pot there holding that gigantic fill in the blank. Over here we have a hula hoop that is now black because we zip tied black material to it. Okay, so now over here, this is the part I'm not fond of, but I'm gonna have to get used to it because these water hyacinths will hopefully grow over the edges and I won't see that lime green. As you can see, it's already happening. So if it uh, gets on my nerves too much, I'll cover that. Here's a floating basket with a pool noodle on it. And it's tethered to that hula hoop, covered in black, which is tethered to that. So everything is weighted down or tethered so that things won't go into the skimmer. This floating fish food container, I have it tied down to, to that so it doesn't go into the skimmer. So thanks for checking out my do-it-yourselfer again.